Hey, this is Jonesy from Jonesy TV coming at you with a review for Legends of Tomorrow Season 1, Episode 5, Failsafe. This is the end of the two-parter uh, episode we saw where the, in the previous episode they crashed in Soviet Russia and they had to basically stop the Cold War from happening. When we figure out the plan is this episode to make a Russian firestorm to take over the world. Of course, Vandal Savage has that plan. And last episode, we saw our team get captured, and they are thrown into a Russian gulag this episode, and there needs to be a prison break. And so there's some great comedy with Ray trying to fit in with the prison and trying to act darker and uh, Rit, or I mean, um, what is it, uh, Heat Wave or Mick, he, you know, he sort of grows a bond with Ray this episode, and it's weird because Mick Rory always seemed like the outside guy, but it showed that he actually cared about his team, and he went back to the prison just to save him. Also, there was hard decisions to be made. Of course, Sarah was told to assassinate Stein if she got the chance because if Stein merges with uh, somebody and becomes a firestorm, there's no going back, and so she had to make the moral decision not to shoot him, and Rip had to realize that he actually cared about his team and uh, not do that as well, so that was great. Uh, this episode, of course, the whole setting was great. The Russian gulag, everything about this episode is great. And Victor Garber's um, Martin Stein was good in this episode because we saw a side of him where he saw his friends getting tortured, and yet he didn't break. But you saw his face, you know, the fear, the, the disgust, everything about his performance was fantastic this episode. Especially at the end of the episode when we uh, see them all fighting at the end of the prison, and we figure out that... Uh, and uh, that crazy Russian lady merges with uh, Stein, the crazy Russian scientist, and we see that uh, just that cool prison brawl and prison fight by the gulag, and we see uh, Vandal Savage was actually a better episode or a better villain in this episode. As I said, Crump's performance varies in this season from terrible to acceptable and pretty great. And it just varies on the episode. I just think the writers may have not messed up, or may have messed up on him a little bit. And we end the episode with a wonderful cliffhanger, which leads us to one of my favorite episodes, Legends of Tomorrow, uh, Star City 2045, where basic, or 2046, where basically they go to the future and Star City is taken over and by Slade Wilson's son. And it's a really great episode, and it's a cliffhanger. You're like, whoa, they're in the future now, so what are they going to do now? So... I really like this episode. There's so much good things, so many good things going for her. All the characters had some uh, sweet material, and Kendra didn't mention she was a barista, which was pretty great. Uh, and Jack's got some uh, character development, you know, outside of being Firestorm, so that was great. So just an overall great episode. I had to give uh, Legends of Tomorrow Season 1, Episode 5, Failsafe, a 9. 5 out of 10 because it was really fun it was really awesome great character development and everything i hope you've enjoyed this review remember like and subscribe this has been jonesy from jonesy tv signing off